today we're going to be giving this bow a new trim. It's a about 145 centimeters, four foot nine. <coughs> so we get a nice length of trim. Of approximately that length. And cut it. I want it slightly more than that length so you have enough to tie knot on each end. So this bow have notches on here where you put the chain and notches down and or notch there a notch at the top and the bottom where you put the chain. So let, let's wrap it around the um, notch a time. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Good. And then you tie it on itself. We will. Nice and secure. And then again. The last string that we had on this bow, um, it was called. It, it snapped. We should note to know the string, string would snap before the bow because then we don't have to worry about the bow snapping and splinters everywhere. We want it nice and tension. So one, two, three, four, five. And then wound on its settle. Yes. I think we need to make the string sort. But good to have excess rather than not enough, or we would waste her whole lot of twing. So wound once on itself, and then wound again on itself, and we've got a newly twinged bow. Nice. Very nice. Lovely. Rather off the topic, but um, you know, nice little wood louse. Look at the little guy, the girl, the little wood house. I'll take it outside because I don't really know how good it is in here for it. Yeah, I can't shoot it outside right now because of stuff. But, um, shoot it as much distance in here just to give it a test. Just to see how well. Ooh, nice. Fine. And I think it fired pretty good. So we've got quite a nice way into the... What? Did it go into the wall? Oh, it went into the wall, how nice. <coughs> yeah, yeah, that works. It's completely normal just tring you find in the shops. It, it isn't anything special. You don't need a special tring it just... You probably can, and it probably would last longer, I, uh archery thing but um this it, this is suitable if you can't get anything else. So, did the bow and uh yeah. Hope you have a good day, bye.